Hey everybody. I've shot a series of videos recently talking about my experiments with various substrates and mineralizing my water and adjusting my pH. And I came to the conclusion that eggshells are a good solution for my particular needs. And so today I want to talk about exactly how I prepare those eggshells before I put them in the tank. And then I think that's going to be the last uh, video, at least for a little while, that we're going to be talking about this topic. I feel like I've sort of run my course with this. But I do want to go over uh, how I actually prepare the eggshells so that other people know what I'm doing when I'm putting them in my tank. So first of all, you've got two different ways of getting eggshells. You can get eggshells from peeling your hard cooked eggs or hard boiled eggs, or you've got eggshells that come from raw cracked eggs where you're baking a cake or making an omelet or what have you. So with the eggshells that have already been boiled, those are easy to deal with because they've already been boiled and sterilized in the cooking process. When I peel them, the biggest concern most people have is whether or not to remove that membrane and what effect the membrane is going to have if you do wind up putting it in your tank. Um, I've never really had that big of an issue with putting membrane in the tank. I've tried it by putting um, like half eggshells, just rinsing the egg stuff out and leaving the membrane intact and putting it in my snail shell on my snail tanks uh, just to see how it broke down, would it foul the tank or anything. And I never really had an issue. In fact, the snails seemed to go in there and eat the uh, membrane out of the inside of the eggshells. The snails would all crawl around on the inside of the eggshells. So never got any fouling, never got any ammonia spikes or anything like that. But those membranes are just almost pure proteins. So if you do put the membrane in the tank, you are putting bioload type stuff in there. You are putting stuff in there that will break down. So when I'm peeling an egg that's already been hard cooked or hard boiled, however you want to say that, I do my best to get as much of the membrane off as I can. I either peel it really carefully or if you can get like the half the shell off in one chunk and then maybe try to peel as much of the membrane out as I can. I do that. I try to get as much out as I can, but I don't go crazy about it. If some gets left behind, some gets left behind. I don't sweat it. Uh, again, it's already been sterilized. It's already been cooked. There's really not a lot left to do with preparing that except grinding it up and we'll get to that in a minute. As far as eggshells that come from raw eggs, where you've simply cracked an egg to bake your cake or cook your omelet, those, I simply run them under water um, and, and rinse the inside with my thumbs until all the slimy egg stuff is completely gone. I then continue rubbing and rinsing with my thumb until I've rubbed as much of the membrane out as I can. Again, you know, it's going to get a little tricky at this point because if you rub the membrane away completely, the eggshell will start breaking apart in your hand and you'll start losing it. So I find that balance of getting as much of the membrane out as I can without destroying the eggshell and making it way difficult and picking up little tiny bits and pieces, you know, out of the sink or whatever. I don't go that crazy about it. I do my best to get as much of the membrane out of there as I can and then I just don't worry about it. Now with raw eggs that have been treated this way they've just been rinsed off they haven't been sterilized and while i don't know if there's anything harmful that you can put in a fish tank that's on raw eggshells salmonella for example i don't see any point in taking a chance because it's easy enough to take these now wet eggshells put them in the microwave on a paper towel for a minute and a half or two minutes and that thoroughly steams that water boils that water away uh, be very careful when you take the eggshells out they're going to be really really hot but when they've cooled down after a minute or two they should be bone dry and that boiling the water away that steaming process will kill anything that's on there that will be your sterilizing the eggshells so now you're left with dry eggshells that are you know reasonably cleaned off from the from the protein uh, membrane as possible and then the only thing left to do really is to grind it up. Uh, but before we get to that, I will say my last thoughts are if you look online, you're going to see a lot of different places that suggest putting the eggshells in the oven for an hour at 250 degrees. And I'm not 100% sure what the purpose of that is. Um, everything I've read about it, it always mentions for the purposes of sterilizing it. You do not need to put something at 250 degrees for an hour to sterilize it. Again, if you put it in the microwave and you steam dry it for two minutes, it'll be sterilized. So the idea of putting it in the oven for two hours or an hour or whatever seems a little bit overkill on the sterilizing part. 
from a chemistry point of view, I know if you take limestone and you heat it up to about 800 degrees or some ridiculous temperature like that, uh, it will actually convert the, the structure of the calcite or whatever. It does something that I don't understand and you get quick lime or some other product comes out the other end of that heating process. I don't think that's what people are suggesting is going on when you put the eggshell in the oven at 200 degrees or 250 degrees or whatever. Again, not sure if there's a reason for doing that rather than simply just steaming it in the microwave. So I don't really have any thoughts on whether you're going to do any kind of chemical conversion by heating it in the oven. I don't think you would, but maybe there's something more to it than I understand. So if you want to look into the whole heating it in the oven for an hour thing to see if there's more going on there, go ahead i don't bother with any of that i steam it in the microwave and get it dried off so now we've got the eggshells prepared we've got as much of the membrane pulled out of there as possible and we've got the eggshells ready to go you can do it one of three simple ways well four really you can not bother and you can just put the eggshells in the tank or you can crunch them up by hand to put them in there if it's a snail tank or a tank that nobody looks at you know who cares if it's your quarantine tank or something like that don't you don't have to mess around with it if you're doing it for aesthetic reasons and you want the eggshells to be ground up so that you can sift them down into your substrate you don't want to see them or whatever you can put them in a blender and just blend them until they're like a powdery ground up mess or you can put them in a food processor coffee grinder um, something like that and then the third way you can do it is the way i do it and I'm actually going to show you how I do it because it's just a really, really, I don't know, for me, it's just a really, really gratifying uh, sensation of actually grinding my eggshells up this way. So let's go have a look at how I actually grind my eggshells. All right, so this is what we're starting with. Now, these are eggs that were raw cracked eggs that I rinsed out. You can see it's just clean eggshells. I then use a good old-fashioned mortar and pestle now sometimes when you're doing this you'll get some that will sort of separate into little sheeting bits and you'll kind of realize that's little bits of membrane like that go ahead and pull those out of there I know you can't tell because of the white background, but there's just white dust rising up out of this. And something like that is fine. I might do it a little more. Grind up a few of those slightly larger pieces in there. But that's what I'm done with. And then I just save it up. And whenever I want to use a little bit of that, I've got it. Uh, I've heard people talk about how they use their eggshells in their gardens as well. Knock yourself out. I put them in my garden. We put them in our compost pile. But I always put some aside so that I've got this. And I've always got some eggshell on hand. But the vast majority of them do actually go in the garden. So there you go. Hope that was helpful. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. And I'll see you real soon in the next one.